core principle for SAS and its foundation was to be able to help the aerospace industry as it was evolving from a traditional industry into more of a commercialized industry. Some of the traditional people that we have at SAS are very, very experienced individuals, engineers, program managers, people such as Wayne Hale who ran the shuttle program, uh, people such as Tim Bulk who's got a strong heritage in international propulsion systems. Former NASA uh, senior level uh, individuals um, were made up of experienced engineers. SAS is a highly focused and tactical engineering firm. What that means is that we're able to look at a problem from a different perspective, likely with a tenth of the time and a tenth of the cost. Not just because he's standing here, but I think my favorite experience at SAS is the ability to, um, to be able to run this company with my best friend and my business partner and my family, um, and my extended family, meaning my employees. Seeing uh, and building a business from the basement of our house to what it is today, it is exciting to see. As we're able to navigate the evolution of this industry, I see SAS playing a key role in really laying the groundwork as far as how companies can navigate. Building our own systems and or subsystems for our clients. With the acquisition of our uh, manufacturing facility, we are looking to provide better value to our clients, to our government clients as well. SAS is finding a niche market um, both for the commercial industries and, and the prime contractors as well as the government, meaning NASA and Department of Defense, to use us and our skill set in specific areas. So for example, we're involved in more than half of the human space flight projects that are going on right now. A commercial crew program as well as cargo to the International Space Station. We are also deeply involved in NASA's Deep Space Exploration Program and we look to be involved in those programs over the next 10 to 20 years. In March of 2015, we acquired a small company. We have completely renovated that company. Um, now AS9100 certified and making space parts in record time. Um, the manufacturing facility has been around for roughly 30 years. Uh, it's been through several different owners and SAS came in in order to provide flight hardware to their aerospace customers uh, and address a special niche in the industry. We really want to build relationships with a small number of clients uh, to ensure that we can support them to our fullest capacity. SAS to me is uh, small teams doing great things. SAS is a venue for engineers and dreamers to be able to accomplish things. So my perspective is more from a business perspective. Uh, but for the engineers who are passionate about space, this is a venue for them to actually do the things that they want to do in an anti-bureaucratic environment that is able to navigate the industry. I think it's really a place where people can dream big um, and actually see the accomplishments.